All right, thanks for watching. And today I wanna to present you yet another example of how to use multivariable calculus to calculate a single variable integral. More precisely, consider the integral from zero to infinity of e to the minus ax minus e to the minus px over x dx. So it turns out it is finite and we'll be able to calculate the value. And more precisely, as I said, you want to use multivariable calculus. So step one, consider the following integral. And it's not clear why we chose a function like that, but you'll see in a second it works. Consider the integral from zero to infinity and integral from a to b of e to the minus xy dy dx. I will show you that this integral actually gives us this integral. Because, you know, this we have to integrate with respect to y, so we leave x constant. So the antiderivative of e to the minus xy, maybe let me use some colors, xy with respect to y means that you treat x as a constant, so it's e to the minus xy, so minus x becomes a constant and you divide by that, and this is from y equals to a and y equals to b dx. Okay. And what we're left with is integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus xb and then over minus x minus e to the minus xa over minus x dx. But notice those minus signs cancel out and this becomes a minus. So in the end, we do obtain the integral from the beginning e to the minus ax minus e to the minus bx over x dx. And so, the key to solving our problem is to evaluate this integral in another way. And you may notice, hey, I interchanged, you know, I have dy dx, y is this not dx dy, and this is precisely the key to solving our problem. So step two, This integral, it also equals to just an interchanging integral. Integral from a to b, integral from zero to infinity, e to the minus xy, dx dy. So we interchange those two things, and we interchange those two things, and this is very important in multivariable, it's called Fubini's theorem. So, it's a me, Fubini, okay? <laughs> and now, let's take this integral and integrate it with respect to x. So here, x is constant. Sorry. Here, x is the variable, so y is constant. And this then becomes... And remember, this is the integral we want to evaluate, because this is e to the minus ax over x, hidden, okay? All right, so if we do this, that's integral from a to b, and this is e to the minus xy over minus y, and now x goes from zero to infinity dy, and that is equal to integral from a to b, e to the minus infinity y, over minus y minus e to the minus x times, sorry, zero y over minus y dy. Now, of course, you may have an issue where y is zero, but remember, this is not an issue because a and b are positive. So they're bounded away from zero. So we have no danger zones here. And so in fact, 
this legitimately the halal legitimately okay becomes zero and you're left with well here we have a one over y this is one and so in the end we have integral from a to b of one over y dy and that just becomes ln of b minus ln of a again strictly speaking ln of absolute value you know but everything is positive and therefore we're in fact done our integral in question just becomes ln of b minus ln of a so integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus ax minus e to the minus bx over x dx that's just ln of b minus ln of a well again you know try doing this using single variable calculus but this is one of the neat things about multivariable it helps us you know solve unsolved problems cool cool all right, so if you like those integrals and want to see more, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.